He's still not here. Who's not here? Huh? My ten o'clock appointment. Mr. Franklin. Well, perhaps he's forgotten. Well, of course he's forgotten. I mean, that's his problem. He forgets everything. I mean, last week when he was supposed to be here, do you know where he went? No. Huh? No? Neither does he. You see, I told you he's got a memory like a sieve. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Malcolm. It's Malcolm. Oh, give him my love. Yeah, OK. What? Ah, uh, no, no, I can't go fishing with you this weekend, Malcolm. Huh? Well, Julia and I, we're going away for the weekend. Yeah, down to the Forest of Dean. <laughs> we go there every year. What? Well, we just do, that's all. No, it is not a dirty weekend. <laughs> Well, actually, yes, it is a dirty weekend, but it's also sort of an anniversary, and so uh, I don't think uh, we'll have to leave it another time. OK, Martin? Right. Oh, by the way, Julia sends her love. What? No, I'm not going to give her a big kiss from you. <laughs> if I'm going to give her a big kiss, it'll be a big kiss from me, not you. Goodbye. I'm busy. What? <laughs> you know very well what. No, it's just that as Mr. Franklin has forgotten his appointment, you know, I've got about an hour off. We could, um, you know, we could, uh, what? You know, we could, um, play Scrabble? Yes, we could, yes. <laughs> Scrabble, rampant sex, you know, anyway. <laughs> I suppose this could wait till later, if you're sure you can spare the time. Oh, I can spare the time, you know, now that Mr. Franklin has forgotten his appointment. <laughs> Mr. Franklin has remembered his appointment. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I didn't forget my appointment. I just can't understand it. I mean, I left the house this morning at... Uh, well, it, it must have been... <laughs> well, it was quite early. Anyway, when I got to the station, I realised I'd forgotten to... Uh, to, uh... No, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> anyway, I, I popped back to the house. I think. Yes, of course I did, and then... I, uh... I, uh, what was I saying? Uh, you were explaining why you were late for your appointment this morning, Mr. Franklin. Was I late? Yes. I wonder why that was. <laughs> what finally reminded you to come and see me this morning? Well, well, I've been doing what you suggested, writing That's things down. Be That's good. good. Before I go to bed, I make <laughs> a list good. of all the things I've got to do the following day. That's good. The only trouble is I always forget where I put the list. <laughs> I only found it this morning when I went back home to... Uh, <laughs> to, uh... To do something. <laughs> I wish I didn't keep on forgetting things. Why is my memory so bad? Well, sometimes... People block things out of their mind if they're worried about something. Really? Hmm. I mean, is there something worrying you that you're just trying to block out? Well, if there is, I've forgotten about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a think about it. Right, right. <laughs> well? Well, what? What have you been thinking about? Sausages. <laughs> sausages? Yes, I'm going to have to buy some more sausages. It was seeing your whistle that reminded me. Well, my whistle reminds you of sausages? No, your whistle reminded me of dog food. I'm sorry, I... You see, when I'm going to feed the dog, I always give him a whistle. <laughs> ah, and that's when you give him the sausages? No, don't be silly. <laughs> I give him dog food. Ah. That's what I went back home for. You see, when I got to the station, I remembered I'd forgotten to feed the dog. So you went home and gave the dog the dog food? That's right, but when I got there, I found the little devil had eaten my sausages. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy some more now. <laughs> Builders have promised me, though, clear the site on Friday, and then your chaps can move straight in. Oh, fine. 
I want the whole place, landscape, trees, shrubs, whatever you think. Could we have a waterfall, Lambkin? Would you like a waterfall, Pumpkin? Oh, rather. Well, then you shall have a waterfall. <laughs> Make a note of that, waterfall. Lots of climbing thingies and flowering thingies. And can we have some smelly thingies as well? <laughs> I think you'll find that some of the flowering thingies are also smelly thingies. Well, we'll leave the details up to you. Mm, don't worry, sir. Mrs Charlesworth is very reliable. She's our senior designer. Jolly good. <laughs> Here's my card. You'll find my work number and my fax number on there. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mr Farquhar. Oh. No. <laughs> it's Farquhar. There are two Fs, but it's pronounced... <laughs> Fucker. some ideas together straight away. Yeah, and I'll come round and measure up on Friday just after your builder chappies have gone. Splendid. And you'll start work at the weekend? Oh, definitely. Right. Come on, Pumpkin. Coming, Lampkin. Next stop, Harrods. <laughs> what a pair of prize... Julia. <laughs> well, really. <laughs> There's no well really about it, is there? Those two have got more money than sense. It does sound quite a big project. Big? It's enormous. It's the biggest commission you've ever had, and they've given you a free hand. It's very exciting. Maybe I could have an area with lots of azaleas and rhododendrons. Make it a sort of woodland garden, like the Isabella plantation. Whatever you like, love, just so long as it costs a fortune. <laughs> Stack. No, I'm serious. This is business. You're not playing a bad edit now. Well, off you go home and start designing. And remember, this is the big one. <laughs> Darling? Mm. Guess what? What? Mm. Who's a clever girl, then? Uh, Virginia Woolf. <laughs> Someone in this room, Adam? It must be one of us. Adam? All right, come on, come on, tell me what's happened. I think Stan and I have pulled off the big one. <laughs> And what's more, I've got a completely free hand. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly simple explanation to all this. <laughs> I've just got my first proper commission. I'm going to design a complete garden. Oh, well done. Congratulations. This course for a little celebration. Where's the champagne? Well, we drank that last night, just after we... Oh, after we played rampant Scrabble, yes, OK. <laughs> right, well, you'll just have to make do with a gin and tonic. It's rather exciting. I didn't take to Lambkin and Pumpkin as a couple, but it's a golden opportunity. Sorry, you didn't take to who? Lambkin and Pumpkin. The Papakwahas. <laughs> I see, yeah. I might have a Russian vine. No, no, you drink your gin and tonic first. <laughs> a Russian vine. They're very quick growing. This is serious, you know. I meant just teasing you. Well, don't. This is my work. This is a really big chance for me. I know. I know, and I'm very proud of you, really, I am. They're talking about a waterfall as well. Sure. I might have an artificial lake with a little bridge, maybe in a Japanese style. <laughs> Do you remember that lovely Japanese garden we went to? Oh, uh, when we were in Tokyo? No, no, not in Tokyo. They don't have Japanese gardens in Tokyo. It's all concrete and wimpy bars. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Japanese garden in Cheltenham. Ah, yes, that was on the way to the Forest of Dean. They even had a little pagoda, though I think that might be going a bit too far. <laughs> I must get some of this down on paper. How was your day, my love? Mm. Oh, uh, pretty standard. You know, I healed the sick yet again. I made the lame walk, made the blind see, and, oh, yes, Mr Franklin came back for three more appointments. <laughs> Did you give him four appointments in one day? No. Just kept forgetting he'd been. Yes. <laughs> Listen, do you fancy going out for dinner tonight? Oh, darling, I can't. I'd love to, but I can't. But I've got an awful lot of work to do. Oh, but it can't be that urgent. Absolutely. They're clearing the site on Friday and we start work on Saturday morning. Saturday? This, this weekend? Yes. That's why I've got to get on with it. Yeah, but, you know, this weekend is, um... What? Nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. Do you know, old boy? I don't think 
think I've managed to beat you like that since we left medical school. No. I don't know what you were playing on the 8th, but it certainly wasn't golf. No. Your mind didn't seem to be on the game. You weren't concentrating. <laughs> what? Look, oh, what's the matter? Nothing, nothing's the matter. Well, clearly something's wrong. It's the worst round of golf I've ever seen you play. It's not the vasectomy, is it? Huh? No, 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 it's not that. No, I just thought it might be affecting your swing. <laughs> In a manner of speaking. How long is it now? What? How long is it since the vasectomy? Well, the vasectomy are uh, three weeks, but there's no problem, Sam. Well, obviously something's bothering you. Come on, you can tell me. I'm your family doctor. They haven't taken as much as your mate. Well, it's it's about the weekend. What the fishing trip? <laughs> they haven't said. Don't worry about that. If I had the chance of going away for the weekend with that lovely wife of yours, I wouldn't uh, think twice about fishing. No, well, that's it. You see, I don't think we are going away. I thought you went every year. Some sort of uh, anniversary, you said. Yeah. What of? Well, a football match, actually. A bloody funny thing to celebrate, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's, it's not the actual football match. Look, Malcolm, do you remember when we were at medical school and we got through to the Inter-Hospitals Cup? <laughs> That's not my game, old boy. I'm a rugby man. I know, I know, I know, but you came down. It was near Gloucester. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, I remember. You lost 9-0. The whole weekend was a bloody fiasco. No, no, not the whole weekend. You see, I went up there on the Friday night with Julia, and, uh, well, that was the first time we actually, um... You actually, um... <laughs> went away together. That's the sort mm. of thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember, it's coming back to me. You had a disastrous match there to put you in goal for the second half. Yes, well, well... You I... weren't fit. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> I get the picture. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's a sort of an anniversary, and that's why we go back every year. Mm. Tell me, what position do you play these days? Malcolm. <laughs> I even kept the referee's whistle. Did you? What for? Well, as a sort of memento. It's also got its practical uses, you know. I mean, you know, if there's any foul play, I just blow the whistle and point to the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so why aren't you going this year? Ah, uh, well, Julia's, um... Julia's very busy this weekend at the garden centre, and she's got this big commission coming up, and, uh... uh well, she's forgotten. I don't blame you for being upset. No, I'm, I'm not upset. I mean, fancy forgetting a thing like that. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'd say, if it was me, I'd be bloody annoyed. No, I'm not annoyed, Mark. I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, deeply peeved. <laughs> well, my fishing trip is still on, if you fancy it. Oh, I'm not sure, Mark. Come on, it'll be a laugh. Up to your thighs in freezing cold water, rain dripping down your neck, not a bite all day. <laughs> Quite the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> it'll cheer you up. But just what the doctor ordered, well, just what this doctor ordered, anyway. What do you say? Uh, well, I think I'll have to get a second opinion. All right, Doctor, what's your opinion? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, come on. It'll be my treat. The fishing trip won't cost you a bean, but that'll be 15 guineas for the consultation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's Friday? I'm quite sure, Mr. Frank. Because I had it down as Tuesday. <laughs> yes, that's when your appointment is. Next Tuesday. Tuesday the 12th at 2. Mm. Look, why don't you write it down? Good idea. Well, I haven't done too badly, then. Hmm? How'd you make that out? Well, I remember the right street, the right house, the right time. I'm just four days too early, that's all. <laughs> well, at least it shows you're keen. Absolutely. All right. There we are, then. Tuesday the 12th at 2. Tuesday the 12th at 2. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. Much more to do? No, I've just got to finish off this little bit before Stan arrives. Mm. I thought that might have been him just now. Who was it? Uh, that was one of my patients, Mr. Franklin. Ah, Marvo, the memory man. <laughs> oh, come on, Adjura. That's not very kind, you know. He can't help it. No, I know. It must be awful for him. I'd hate to have a bad memory. <laughs> Fortunately, I've been blessed with quite a good memory. <laughs> Did he get the time wrong again? No, no, no. Just the day, Tuesday. Tuesday the 12th, too. Next Tuesday? That can't be right. Next Tuesday's not the 12th. Yes, it is. No, it can't be. If next Tuesday was the 12th, then today would be... <laughs> <laughs> it's the Forest of Dean weekend. Why didn't you say anything? Did you forget? Julia, I didn't forget. Oh, I'm so sorry. How could I be so stupid? Mm. Well... And you didn't say anything. No. 
And I bet you booked the usual room at the Holly Bush. Mm hmm With the marble washstand and the creaky bed. Yeah. I even rang up and asked him to turn the picture of St. Ignatius to face the other wall. He's getting more and more embarrassed every year. <laughs> Well, look, I'll tell Stan that this can wait till Monday. We can't miss the Forest of Dean. No, 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 come on. You said you'd start work on the Hanging Guards of Babylon tomorrow. But I can hang around till Monday. No, no, come on. You and Stanley promised to start work on Saturday. Oh, I, I'm not missing the weekend. We can go another weekend. No, we can't. It wouldn't be the same. Yes, well, we can't go this weekend. Why can't we go this weekend? What? Well, why don't you want to take me to the Forest of Dean? But I, I want to take... How did I get this side of the argument? That'll be Stan. And look, I'm telling him straight, we're going away at the weekend. I don't know how you could even contemplate not going. <laughs> but I did... I... I was the one who said... What? <laughs> she. She said... Oh, I'm sorry, have you got company? No, I'm just talking to myself, Stan. <laughs> Gets you that way, does it? What? Your line of work, being a trick cyclist, <laughs> fiddling about with people's minds. Only when it's a full moon, Stanley. Ah. Uh, look, Stan, sit down. I, I want to have a chat. Yeah, well, before you do, there's something I want to tell you. I've just been round to the for far, far... Oh, for heaven's sake, the yuppie. <laughs> yes, well, that's what I want to talk to you about. I know we're supposed to start work tomorrow, and I've done lots of drawings. Yeah, I knew, I knew you would. And I've had a lot of ideas. Yeah, well, you're an ideas woman, aren't you? And I know you said that this was the big one. Yeah, those were my exact words. This is the big one. I said, yeah. Really? You ask your wife if you don't believe me. I said, this is the big one. So that's why I have to... Yeah, well, Julia, please. No, no, look. listen, Stan. This job, the big one... Is a six-foot yard with a window box. <laughs> what? Yeah. I just went round to have a look at it. I know they made it sound like the Palace of Versailles, but uh, all they've done, in fact, is knock down the outside privy. I might have known you wouldn't get acres of parkland just off the Streatham High Street. So there's no garden to landscape? No, I'm afraid not. I'll send the boy round with a couple of bulbs on Monday. You can go with him if you like. Tell Lambkin and Pumpkin where to put them. Yeah. Well, what you need is a break. Get away from it all. Yeah, why don't you take her away for the weekend? She's had a big disappointment, you know. I think that's a very good idea, Stanley. Right. Oh, by the way, what did you want to tell me? Do you know, I've completely forgotten. <laughs> I just got in a muddle with the dates. I didn't forget the weekend. Don't give it a second thought. If we hurry up, we'll be at Hollybush by eight. Just in time for the speciality of the house. Yes, shepherd's pie a la Dores. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we take sandwiches? No, come on, it's tradition. Old oh, Doris's shepherd's pie, it's part of the old world charm. Mm, that's what you call it. Well, at least the shepherd's pie's old. <laughs> I should take a couple of sweaters if I were you. Right. Oh, yes, and we mustn't forget these. Oh, I don't have to wear the soccer shorts again this year, do I? <laughs> oh, darling. Anyway, St Ignatius wouldn't recognise you without them. <laughs> oh, yes. Have you got the whistle? In my consulting room. I mean, we've got to take the whistle. What would we do without the referee's whistle, eh? <laughs> Come here. Are you, uh, are you very upset about losing out on that commission? Well, I just have to put it down to experience. Mm. Next time, I'll make sure I know exactly what the job is before I get too excited. Do you know, I'm really glad we're going away for our weekend. What a weekend that first one was, eh? Mm. You scored a hat-trick. No, we lost 9-0. <laughs> I'm talking about the Friday night. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Can you pop down and get your oil can from the garage? What? The little squirty one you use on the lawnmower. I thought I'd take it with us this year. What for? <laughs> to oil the bed. Huh? I want to put a stop to that creaking. Hello, Dr. Charlesworth. Uh, no, no, Mr. Franklin. Uh, what day is it? It's Friday. Yes. <laughs> and what time is it? It's ten past five. Right. So it is not Tuesday the 12th at two. No, of course it's not. Is there anything the matter, Dr. Charlesworth? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Franklin, what are you doing here? You've forgotten, haven't you? <laughs> I forgot. <Yeah. clears throat> 
When I was here earlier, I walked off with your pen. Ah. You ought to take more care of your property. <laughs> Tuesday the 12th at 2. two. Well done, well done. Well, I'm Mr. Frank. I'm ready. Are you? Oh, I'm more than ready. Oh, roll on the holly bush. Oh, roll on. I don't believe this man. Look, it's Friday. Oh. Yeah, I know. Hello, Julia. <laughs> All right, go on, get off, 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 well, off. Come on, get your skates on. We're going. What? Boys weekend. We're going fishing. You're doing what? I didn't say I was going fishing with you, Malcolm. You said you had nothing better to do. On our Forest of Dean weekend. Well, no, I didn't say no. I didn't say that. That was beforehand. That was before. No, I didn't. I didn't say. I He's did... not going fishing. Whatever he said. But I didn't say I was going fishing. Well, I should think not, Malcolm. This is a very special weekend for us. Yeah. Okay. Enough said. Say no more. Uh, have a nice weekend. Mm. Uh, by the way, do you uh, swap jerseys afterwards, Malcolm? <laughs> What did he mean by that? I've got absolutely no idea. Sorry, me again. Oh. <laughs> I nearly forgot these are for you. What? You wanted a pound of sausages, didn't you? <laughs> no, Mr. Franklin. Oh, no, of course not. The sausages are for the dog. <laughs> no, they're not. They're for me. <laughs> this is for you. It's your whistle. Oh, I can't remember why you gave it to me. But I don't need it anymore. You gave Mr. Franklin our whistle. No, of course I didn't. He must have just picked it up by mistake. Well, it's a good job he brought it back. Because mm -hmm. you know what happens when I blow the whistle. I should say. 45 minutes each way. Uh, plus extra time if it's a draw. Really? 